Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at Tiny Dangerous Dungeons. This is a Game Boy inspired Metroidvania. So let's get in here and see what it's all about. So we can go left or right. We can jump with X. Oh, well, that says X. But uh, my A button is the one that's jumping it. I like when developers do this little like wall art thing. It's really nice and an easy way to show without putting a bunch of exposition in there as well. So, oh, okay, we could jump up on the blocks too. And we gotta watch out for angry spite and spiders. I don't have any kind of weapons right now. So, oh, okay, toads. Toads are also a bad thing. Good thing you didn't have to color, color that toad any special color. I'd be really worried about that. We do have a lot of green in here that was the original Game Boy uh, coloring, which I like. I like very much. And I could not jump over that very well. Can I duck? I cannot seem to duck. So let's see. This just looks like a little. Okay, we can heal up, which is awesome. That game stayed, saved, and health restored. There we go. Two things at once. That's awesome. Okay, so we're just gonna try to make it past the spider and the bat. One of the things that I really like about these style games is that they are, um, and especially like with the black and white games that I have done before, uh, I like the, ew, nope, nope, oh, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> Um, I really like the uh, to see what developers can do with a very limited uh, call. I cannot get right beside that stupid frog. I can't go that way either. So that's not good. The waterfall is blocking me and I am going to die incessantly here unless I can jump from this one to the, oh okay I can't just jump over that 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 helps a lot I hope this is some kind of, oh a key okay well I was hoping to have a weapon of some sort at some point I I assumed I had to jump down on there that was a bad idea uh, the controls are really seem to be uh, pretty tight he has a fairly standard jump and the I really like these candles in the background for some reason there's something about those candles that I find particularly enjoyable. Um, I like that the character's a little bit oversized. It's easy to see your character and how he's working and that sort of stuff. So it's that's pretty well done. Um, I would really at some point like to have a weapon. I've got, yeah, this has a very basic uh, run and jump feel to it. Um, I can. One of the great things about platformers, um, and I guess a Metrovania is sort of like a platformer, is knowing where your character will land. Once you jump, it's very important to be able to recognize where your character is going to land. That's, you know, you got to make sure that you can avoid the traps and that sort of stuff. Um, so, but he has a very fluid. Um, ignore me being not being able to hit <laughs> the jump button at the edge. That doesn't. Um, but he has a very fluid, nice arc on his jump, which is really nice as well. So there, there we go. We've got power glove. I can push heavy objects. That's cool. So let's just push this block out of our way. I'm assuming, yeah, just push it out of our way, I guess. Uh, there was some stuff back here that we were able to push. I also like the candle. I think one of the things that I like about the candles is that uh, it adds a little bit of atmosphere into the back. I like that, uh, like just a little bit of movement. Can I use that to hurt him? No, I can't. Um, that little bit of movement in the background makes the game feel more immersive. And that going along with the kind of the uh, brick, um, Kind of the brick around every so every little bit and it doesn't have to be full brick and i really like how it's a little bit uh uncovered but then a little bit of brick showing and that kind of uh makes it so that you don't have that oh i should not have done oh i i 
killed him by jumping on him. It makes it so that the background is not cluttered, but then still gives you a little bit of background. Um, in a game like this, where you only have a few colors, having it, ooh, I found a dungeon mask. Push pause, let's see, there we go. We got a map, which is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, let's see if we can go there. So it leaves it, a, you know, uncluttered, but still gives you a little bit of a background. And then the vines in the background also are a nice touch here. So let's see. We are now here. Okay, the vertical lines seem to be the doorways. Um. Yes. Okay. And then it looks like there are some secret doors as well in some parts. Um, there have some doorways. If you look at like the top right square, that's a little bit darker. Uh, you can see that that uh, has just a little square there. I'm gonna assume that's some kind of magic doorway or something uh, there. We went up there. That was a dead end. Let's, or did, okay, let's see what's over here. Uh, jump over the frog. And these two mean frogs right there. That should take me up to the top right. And it appeared that there was something else up there. There seems to be another doorway. It looks like this. Oh, this is my entrance. Haha, there we go. That's where I started the game. Okay. So I like the little skulls on everything right there at the beginning. Let you know really quickly, real easy, what is um, dangerous and what is not. And just about every of these little creepy crawly things are dangerous. So we've got to make sure that we don't touch everything. And I really don't like one block Ugh. places. Okay, we made it through. Good, good, good. Oh, another health thing, which is nice. These are very, um, are they shown on the map? They are shown on the map. And I like the, you know, when I first look at this and you see that you only have uh, three hearts, you got a little worried. But then when I saw that there seems to be uh, a good amount of those little health people in here, um, the little healthy girls, eh, I need to jump behind him. Um, the health people, uh, that is making it much better. So run. Ooh, this is some na nasty tight jumping here Woo. Okay. oh I shouldn't have jumped I shouldn't have I should have just went over him in one jump I'm trying to be almost in a way too cautious here um, so we want to go there jump there we go. much much better and then just jump right oh, I got myself in trouble there maybe we do have to I thought we could make it Ah, crud. We're gonna die again. So me, death. Wonder if I could run under him. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I can't. Well, the the whole idea of uh, me being able to and it's possible in the game are two totally different. Um, yeah, I've really delayed there, I think. Ah, crud. I jumped too early, but I have instability. In invincibility frames for the win. Okay. So I'm enjoying this so far. I like the simplicity of it, and a lot of early uh, Game Boy games did just have a real simple vibe to them. Um, ooh, how am I gonna, am I gonna just jump right over him? There we go. Ah, uh, see right there, real easy, real quick, another health and uh, save, so. I really am enjoying that. Got so much stuff to explore here. I like that there's a map there. Those little piranhas are kind of neat. Even like the, the frogs, I like how the frogs have a little animation to them as well. Ah, not quite, okay. There we go, use those in invincibility frames. Is there, there is a health coming up here shortly. And that guy is staying in one place and I don't like, arrows that's not good we got to watch out for these guys at least they open your their mouth and it kind of shows you um like you get ready for it 
that stop those. I was just, I was really, really hoping that would stop those. There we go, frogs. Chubby frog, okay, and then, oh, there we go, we got a sword. That is what I was, I found throwing knives, yes. Awesome, how many throwing knives do I have? This is so much better. Um, and this, and I've talked about this a lot of times in other um, episodes where it, in a way, block, oh, I'm gonna have to get back on the other side of that to throw it, to push it back. That's gonna be, you gotta be careful here. Ugh, get over, there we go. We're gonna have to push it little by little here because there is no bending down so I can't duck under it. There we go, that should get me up there. There we go. Um, an easy way where they kind of block off a way so that you have to go a certain way, and that's what they did here. You look at the frog and the bat, I was like, oh, that looks really tough, so I went the other way, and very easily uh, they were able to push me off in a way to get my knife, which is really cool. Um, that is a very simple, easy kind of um, soft locking I like in uh, the games. I'm not sure those if those things will hurt me or not, but I'm not taking my chance. Can I jump up there? Nope. Those out of my way. There we go. Uh, is this somewhere I want to go? I'm not sure where this is going to lead me. The board back here is pretty simple. Okay, so I'm here. I'm afraid that that is going to be too far. Maybe I'm going to get my... Uh, a some kind of um, special jump up here in a little bit. I'm not sure. Oh, nope. I can't make that jump. That is not going to be uh, a jumpable thing here. But there is no... I can't jump from... Can I hit it with the knife? Would that work? Oh, there we go. Will that fall in the wall? There we go. That's what I needed. There. Ha ha. Super jump. I found a key. Okay. I can, can open one door with it. Oh, that's going to be semi-helpful. I feel that there is... No, maybe not. Um, where was the door? I believe there was a locked door back here somewhere. Yep, I was right. Ah, oh, man, those those that chains do hurt me. Oh wait, so what did I do and not do? I'm pretty far back. Um, I don't have my knife anymore, which is disappointing. Uh, but I think I can get back there pretty easily here. It was this way. I really like these chains too. Kind of shows a. Um, almost a lot of it looks like it shows how it's holding stuff up. We're gonna, I kind of not wanted to push that all the way there, but oh well. There we go, got my knife. And I like how the knife spins when it hits something. It kind of spins off and then when you miss an animal, it kind of like dunk and then drops. A little bit further. Nope. Perfect. I am tempted to actually run back up here and save again so that we can continue our knifeage. Um, you've got to... Oh, come on. I can't throw it at the right timing. It's important sometimes in games like this to make sure that you have the save. And especially when you get a new item, I would always recommend the ability to or, uh, uh, save if you have the ability to save. So either you save it in the menu or you, uh, you, you know, go back to a save spot. Oh, come on, I can hit this frog. I can do it. Maybe. There we go. Oh, back. And that takes me down to here, and then we need to get the key. Uh, 
Okay, there was a there was a log here, that's right. Um I forget what was up here. I know I did Oh yeah 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 okay. Yeah 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 yeah. Now that I know that I could use my knife to knock those over, that's going to be a nice little thing. See if we can progress a little bit farther. I really don't like one block spots, but uh, it seems to be in a lot of platformers to have at least one area where uh, you've got to jump on one little spot. It doesn't also seems like you can't just throw out a bunch of knives. There seems to be a cooldown to the knife, uh, knife throwing. So, need to go. I feel that I'm missing something here. That takes me up to the save. What did I miss here? Because if I go down into this one. Oh, I did something I didn't mean to do. Somehow. I got two keys. I feel that there's something ugh, I'm missing here, but let's see if we can figure it out. There's two doors here. There may have been a locked door back up there somewhere as well. I just want to make sure that I end up in all the places that I need to be. And that was just, that was not another door back there. That was just, uh, I think. I think it was just across the, yeah, it was just across the grass. Oh, there's the waterfall that I can't do anything with right now. I'm going to say that I think there was door back there that was locked. I remember one at the very beginning, but I, ah, shoot. But I'm thinking that there was another one as well. I wish I could knock those out. Like, uh, hit them off or something. Hit them with my... Uh, knives and have them fall into the water. That'd be kind of cool. I can actually see, um, see playing this game on the Game Boy. It very much has that, uh, feel to it. This is where the uh, save lady was. Let's go back and save and heal up. That will be very helpful to us. And then we're going to explore over. Oh, I didn't. He jumped right over that knife. There we go. And like he just completely. I wonder if that log goes somewhere. That's no, not really. It is a Metroidvania, so I do expect to have to go back and forth a little bit. That seems to be a general theme in Metroidvanias. There's another heal, but I don't really, I could, oh, there we go. That's what I need. Aha, I found it. Ah, uh, it was not quite a, a key thing, but I knew there had to be something back there eventually. <laughs> ah, there's the key door, aha. Okay, so we do have some spiky balls over that way some spiders over this way. One of the things I do have trouble with like constantly is I, when I want to jump, a lot of like uh, platformers kind of metrovanias have like a half jump and then a full jump, depending on whether you hold on or uh, just tap the jump button. I have a really big problem with always doing a full jump. That does not look like it wants to go that way. Um, let me see if I can. I'm going to have to push that off and then run as quickly as I can. Here we go. I got one. Nope, that's going to hit my noggin. Uh, get oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. It's going to hit my noggin too. Oh, no, no, I'm in trouble. Oh, come on. There's a lot of stuff going on right there. Uh, okay, good thing that I saved right there. That is... Very, very helpful. So let's go back this way and see if we can. That's a, a place where you just want to just tap it. 
Oh, come on. This, um... The... The... Um, falling... Uh, mace things are making it hard to hit as well. So I can't always time it right because they're in the way. Come on. <laughs> come on, hit him. There we go. I got bit by a get bit, 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 bit by a piranha. Okay, so we're going to have to push this down. Jump up here. I should be able to jump over this one. There we go. I'm gonna go this way and push. I'm not sure if I'm gonna push this that way or the other way. I wonder if this would like stop the water. That does not stop the water. Um, I'm also curious if I know I couldn't push it into this little see how this one's a little bit shorter I thought I could maybe push it into uh, That spot and it would do something, but it don't think it's going to That's what I need to block me from these guys here and eventually get up that's what I need. Woohoo! I like that. I found another key. Yay! That's going to be definitely helpful. Now, do I? I don't think I'm going to need that, but I think maybe that was just to get back this way. But where's this other key go to is going to be a question as well, because unless there was another... Oh, there may have been something over this way, too. That's very possible. Another one way up there somewhere. Uh, there could be another locked door up that way somewhere. So we might have to ride on this a couple times. I just want to get that spider out of there for a second. Ugh. Always been impressed with the uh, early systems and what they've been able to accomplish. Now, this is not specifically made for the Game Boy, but um, definitely like uh, the Game Boy and early systems uh, definitely push the envelope quite a bit. And it's nice to see games like this give homage to them. I feel that like the console games get a lot of credit, but then these games do not like the Game Boy games or the, um, uh, you know, other similar handheld Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, those, those sort of games don't seem to get as much attention. I was thinking there was something over here. I can go in here if I wanted to, but I'm not sure that... Oh, that's gonna squish me. Yep, I knew that was gonna squish me. Oh, and I fell in the water. <laughs> that's, okay. We're gonna go this way a little bit. We're gonna try this way this time. And it's probably not gonna be helpful at all because I don't think I can make that jump. Might as well try. There was a safe spot right back there, so no. I feel that there's gonna have to be a, like a large jump thing. Um, or a, a you know, some kind of bigger jump oh I got, I got stuck there I think a little bit okay so it looks like I'm gonna have to go in here and deal with these guys where did that snake the problem here is I don't think I can get that back from where I am Alright, so we're gonna have to do a little jump there. That is straight up frustrating. Right, go here, go here. Ah, there we go. Ah, as long as I get a little bit of room there. Jump, small jump. There we go. We're making it. Yay! Oh, oh, ah! Oh, I spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Oh, is that maybe swimming? Maybe that, oh, I can, I got a snorkel. Water walk boots, yeah, there we go. Look at that, woohoo! 
I'm walking on water. Okay, so I want to go. Where was that? I feel the same spot was back here, actually. Um, this is going to be a hard jump to make, I think. Ugh, yeah, because the timing uh, was not a good timing for us. Oh, this is not going to be easy either here. Um. Haha, <laughs> did. Oh, come on. Get over that. I was worried. Really worried. There appears to be some kind of lip there that if I jump just right, I can't get into that little hole. Oh, no. And then let's go. Actually, I don't have to worry about this anymore. I shouldn't be as, as worried because I can walk on the water now. Let's go. I'm worried about getting, missing all the, or landing on all the, uh, little platforms but I don't really have to do that right now ooh is that a special door that's a that's a definitely a special door there let's see I know there was another spot back here that well yeah I don't think I went this way actually. oh the door okay that lock thing but there was Way back here, there was another place I could walk. Ooh, I almost got my head on that one. That would have hurt. I really like this water walking thing. I really do. The best skill so far. I believe it was back this way. Maybe not quite back this way, I don't think. I may have made a mistake. I may have went the wrong way. Ugh! Psh, that was close. I feeling that this is where I got my water, okay. If that was where I got my water boots, then where was it that I got... Where am I? I'm way over there somewhere. Okay, we're gonna have to figure this out because... There was a place somewhere, I think it's going to be up here, that I had another walking kind of spot. I want to make sure that I get... Is this getting me over to the right? I think it is. This may be all the way back up to the beginning. I think this is the beginning. Go back. I'm thinking it's this way. Is the correct one. So much easier now that I can walk on the water. Make sure I don't get chomped by the piranhas though. Ah, <laughs> just like that. That's not what I wanted to do. Just a little bit further and we'll be able to find that other spot and it'll probably give me, I'd have to guess, the uh, magic um, like the special key there for that one door is what I'm going to have to that's what I'm going to have to guess that's going to be the, the thing down here I could just go to the right place or the correct spot, I guess. Whoop. I think it was up here. Ah, yep, there it is. Not sure where that's gonna. Oh, yep. Save it. New place. A uh, save it. I think that is going to. Oh no, that's something different. Um, yeah, that's not walkable. Uh, I think that's going to be our episode for today. Uh, this is a Tiny Dangerous Dungeons, a Game Boy-esque kind of um, Metroidvania, I guess. 
style game so uh, i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i liked it i it's recommend i would recommend checking it out there is a link in the uh, description for the steam page in which you can get it for yourself thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye everybody